Good evening again, everyone. This time is for myself. Um, I feel really honoured because this is a very special award, uh, Professor James Lenz Award. Um, so I'm a neurology fellow at Alfred Hospital in Melbourne and also a research master's student with Monash University. Uh, my research uh, project focuses on the association between chronic migraine and cervical dystonia. Migraine is a leading cause of neurological disability in Australia, with significant distractions to work and social engagement, producing an estimated annual economic cost at $35.7 billion. Neck pain with muscle tension is a frequent, frequent complaint in migraine, often associated with significant symptom-related disabilities. However, the uh, mechanism of this phenomenon is poorly understood and targeted treatment is lacking. Our study aims to determine whether there's a link between chronic migraine, um, neck with ne neck muscle spasm, and cervical dystonia. Cervical dystonia is a rare neurologic condition, but debilitating, featured by involuntary neck muscle contractions, leading to abnormal head postures. Coexisting migraine and cervical dys dystonia has been observed and then reported clinically. Uh, which, however, only explain minority cases of migraine with neck pain. The majority of cases, the, nat the nature of overly active neck muscles in the majority of cases migraine remains unclear. So our project is the first study using MRI to investigate activated neck muscles in migraine and cervical dystonia. Several earlier studies have shown that exercise can induce muscle signal changes on MRI uh, sequence named T2 relaxation times, which therefore can dif uh, distinguish active activating muscles from resting muscles. Um, in the upcoming study, we'll look at muscle signal changes in patients with migraine and uh, cervical dystonia and compare those changes to normal individuals. Um, Knowledge gained from this project will potentially improve understanding the nature and mechanism of neck pain in migraine and justify consideration of new treatment options, for example, botulinum toxin injection into the activated neck muscles. In addition to that, it may provide a novel non-invasive tool to allow more precise target and identification for toxin injections for cervical dystonia. Um, Last but not the least, um, I, would, I don't want to repeat other winners. Everyone has expressed their thanks to the Brain Foundation. I just want to say, I just want to say, I'm just as much grateful. Thank you. Thank you.